Here's our student loan planner ranking of the nine best student loan servicers. We actually had a tie for number three, so we're gonna start off from the lowest rated servicer to the best rated servicer according to our own internal survey data as well as the database of CFPB complaints. So the number eight rated servicer is Navient. Navient is both the largest servicer and services the most student loans in the country. There is a positive correlation with the number of complaints and the amounts of loans that you service, but I think that Navient also scores pretty high on a per capita complaint basis. Uh, you know, I think that that could potentially be because my, my instinct is that Navient tends to bid contracts with the Department of Education on a um, basis of how how low a price they can provide for the taxpayer for the services, which obviously could potentially impact the quality of customer service that one might receive. Fed loan servicing is going to come in at number seven. Fed loan has the dubious <laughs> distinction of managing the public service loan forgiveness program, which is a very troubled program and obviously also very poorly written. That said, Fed loan has not made it easy on themselves. So Fed loan has really made a lot of mistakes and has not provided accurate payment counts and information and seemingly has not invested a ton in, into infrastructure to make sure that people's payment counts are accurate. And so that's why they get the number seven ranking on our list. Number six is Mohila, Missouri Higher Education Loan Authority. Mohila is a servicer that does okay for private student loans and for loans that actually need to be paid back, but they don't fare that well with federal student loans with income-driven options. They don't have very high scores because of this. Number five is Nelnet. Nelnet is probably a middle-of-the-pack servicer. We've named it the white bread of student loan servicers in the past. Nelnet does a pretty good job managing forgiveness programs and handling the different IDR type repayment plans, but they still leave a lot to be desired. Number four is Cornerstone, and this is a smaller servicer that, again, I would trust managing my private loans, but I would be a little cautious about what they would do with my federal loans because they're likely to not be super informed about the different income-driven options, as well as managing those different payments across multiple servicers if you have multiple servicers. For number three, we have a tie between Granite State and the Higher Education Services Corporation, HE. SC. These two servicers, again, will do an okay job if you have $30,000 in student loan debt and you're just needing to pay $300 a month for 10 years to pay it off. But again, they're not likely to cooperate that well with bigger servicers if you have a more complex situation. Number two is the Oklahoma Student Loan Authority, or OSLA. They have a fairly small number of complaints per capita in the student loan database with the CFPB. That could simply be because they are a small servicer with not as many accounts, so you're more likely to get somebody who's more informed um, and just you're gonna have fewer issues floating around that probably allow them to provide better customer service. The number one rated student loan servicer that is out there according to our own internal survey data and CFPB complaints is Great Lakes Student Loan Servicing. Most people cite them as fair, even if they do have problems with them, and actually there is a fairly long list of problems with Great Lakes, but most of the time you're going to get more accurate information with Great Lakes than any other servicer. You know, unfortunately the student loan servicing industry is an industry as a whole that is based off of how low can you bid for the contract and it's also most incentivized to keep you your loan around with them for as long as possible so they don't have built-in incentives for performance that other companies might have. You know, it's almost kind of like the cable industry in terms of the incentive structure that exists and I wouldn't necessarily blame any one group of people, I think certainly Congress is culpable, the student loan servicers are culpable, in some cases borrowers who are not paying attention to their loans you could say could have some, some culpability as well, but certainly student loan servicers are, are not known for their quality service. So that's our ranking of the best servicers. If you disagree or if you have comments about any of the servicers that we've cited in our, in our post, in our video, just comment in the YouTube comments below.